the New York State government. It was at one time the best in the nation. Our capital was a national symbol of integrity and performance. We led the way, and other states followed our example. We lost that standard, and I ran for governor of New York to get it back, to clean up Albany, to get our government working, and to get our economy running once again. But if we are to move forward as a state, we need to repair the relationship between our citizens and our state government. The foundation of that relationship is trust. Albany has done much to erode that trust over the recent years, scandal after scandal, corrupt politician after corrupt politician. I know how bad it is. As Attorney General, I fought the corruption, and I put guilty officials and politicians in jail. Now, I want to reform the system to prevent the corruption from happening in the first place. To clean up the government and restore trust, we need to pass a new ethics law that mandates transparency and full disclosure. No more secrets. People need to see their government in the light of a new day if they are going to trust once again. We also need a real independent monitor because the legislature's so-called self-policing obviously hasn't worked. Our state legislature is by our constitution a part-time legislature, meaning they have other jobs and occupations. That's the law. But the question is whether there is a conflict of interest with their other jobs and clients and that we can only know if they will disclose who they are. I wear a pin that says, I work for the people. The question is, who do your legislators work for? You have a right to know. I want sweeping ethics reform that will require disclosure of clients that legislators represent before the state and disclosure of how much they get paid. Not surprisingly, the legislature doesn't want to pass real ethics reform. It will take the people of this state to speak up and insist. Democracy works when the people make their voice heard. It's your government. Take control. Tell your legislators to pass ethics reform and pass it this year. Let's make New York State government one that we can be proud of once again. It's time the people of the Empire State strike back and tell their politicians that enough is enough. It's time to clean up Albany. Together, we will do just that.